What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Biome Exile SMP. We are here with the very first episode, and we're going to get right into it, but I'm going to do a little prologue to my character. Meet Jack Finch. He's just a poor pirate who was sentenced to exile on this deserted island. So he's here all alone, and all his dreams were to be a pirate. He just wanted to be a successful, rich pirate and drink rum for all his days. But here he is stuck on this island because of his crimes against humanity. And while on the island, he discovers a way to another world. He has discovered a rock that will lead him to an island where he can actually interact with people from different worlds around the universe and weird stuff like that. It's pretty strange, but yeah. He found that on the island, and the island seems to have some weird characteristics to it. Um, besides that, he has been venturing around a little bit, and he appears to have found some creatures that he believes might be able to make him a good amount of money. When we meet up with Jack now, he's actually pretty well established. He's been on the island for a little while, and after discovering that he might be able to find some wealth in this island, and that he has found his way to a new civilization, he decided to go ahead and make himself comfortable so that he can have a successful life on this island. Let's join Jack on his adventures. Ah, life is good to be a pirate. I never thought it would be so uh, enjoyable to be alone without all those scallywags bothering me. If only I could find some rum, this would be the life. I did find an egg, however, from this chicken that's on the beach. You would think there would be seagulls, but not on this island. It's quite strange. The egg didn't even have a yolk inside of it. Interesting. There's also cows on this beach. I don't know what the deal is with that. And there's a flower growing right on the beach. Hmm. Well, this island is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. I've been out adventuring and looking around. I think it at least goes to over there, but... I don't think we're gonna stroll over there for today. I don't need to wander way too far. Hmm. But I'll check out the coast a little bit. See what's going on. Maybe I can find some more of those creatures. They're gonna make me some good money. I'll buy all the rum. It's gonna be the greatest. There's another chicken and another weird flower. Wonder what kind of flower this is. There is a skeleton riding a skeleton horse. Let's gear up. My gear is quite good. I'm not quite concerned about this guy, but hey. And after all, I am a pirate. So fighting is almost second nature. I'm almost as good at fighting as I am at drinking rum. See? See where I'm at? He's dead. One hit. That's all it takes. <laughs> I really shouldn't talk to myself. It just shows how crazy I'm going. It's kind of bad. <laughs> I guess it was just him, huh? Oh, no. They're by my house, too. What the heck? <laughs> well, he's dead. Oh! He's on fire. <laughs> the scallywag's burning! Watch him burn. I don't know what he's doing right now. Let's kill his horse. Don't kill my crops. I need to eat. These horses have lots of health. Jeez. Die. Man, the riders were easier to kill than the actual horses. But that's often true, you'll find. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. Ah, my home's coming along quite nicely. I need more pigs. I've been eating a lot, lot of beef lately. I should have kept those skeleton horses for my collection, probably. Oh well. I found some saplings that washed up. I was able to plant some trees. Pretty nice. Getting along pretty well here and they're growing well. But I have enough wood, I think. I don't need to chop those down. Lots of horses were on this island. 
I don't know why this island was so deserted. It, it seemed pretty wealthy. They had horses and cows, chickens, pigs. It looks like my cows are about ready for a good slaughter. It's about time to eat, I think. The chickens definitely look ready. But I just enjoy seeing them suffering. It's great. The harvest is definitely ready. If only we could figure out how to make uh, something similar to rum out of wheat. Hmm. I wonder if people will ever figure out how to make an alcohol-like beverage out of wheat. Hmm. Probably not. Hmm. I still need more sand and gravel. Yeah. Shopping list. Just the shopping list. Alright. Let's put this stuff away. My money's getting getting up there. Having started uh, really producing the monies yet. And I'm, I'm doing pretty good, I, I'd say so myself. You know? Of course, I haven't found any rum to buy. My money won't really be as, as good after that. Some iron. I found that this island has weird magical properties, and I can actually... I guess enchant stuff. See, my armor has these weird abilities. My sword is super strong, lights things on fire. And I have a whole assortment of more enchantments I've been working on. I just kind of, at night, when I can't go out because of all the strange creatures on this island, I spend some of my free time enchanting stuff. It's quite easy to get levels because there's lots of things to kill and they drop magic experience and I can use it to uh, to make some good booty gotta get that booty well anyway I should check out the the uh, fishes out in the deep blue so I found these fishes hmm I wonder if they're gonna be uh, be any good for harvesting. I found some weird fish. They drop a mineral and uh, it looks pretty good. It looks quite strange and I think it will fetch a nice price. So I've been working on on devising a plan to uh, execute them on a large level. So there's this weird castle looking thing hmm. I've been inside of it there were sponges inside I was pretty helpful in, in getting rid of this water there wasn't much of a fight I had to ki kill a few fish some fish made it hard to mine for some reason but they're dead there's good gold in there too these are my supplies. Basically, I've just been draining this thing out. I wonder uh, how much longer it's going to take for me to finish this thing. I still have quite a few sections to go. I figure once I clear this all out and empty it out, I can build a little trap. And since the, the weird blue fish seem common around here, I figure I can filter them and, and burn them or something, something scary like that. With all their minerals that they drop, I should be able to make a good, a good little lick of gold. Be able to buy all the rum if I ever figure out who sells that stuff around these parts. Of course, no one sells those stuff, those things around these parts, because this is just me. I'm just talking to myself again. What am I doing? I'm not even drunk. I can't get drunk because I can't find the rum. <sighs> what a terrible island. No rum. Lots of cows. I wonder if you can make rum out of milk. I bet you could. Can you make rum out of pumpkin? I do have sugar cane. I think that's involved in the rum making process. There's this weird portal on the island. I don't know what it does. What's that? Creature. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm scared to walk in there. It makes a weird sound. This guy doesn't appear dangerous. It's quite scary though. Hmm. He looks like a person I once saw when I went into a cave to retrieve some gold. But uh, we won't talk about that right now. It's kind of weird. But it's, it's not like this one. There's this rock I found and if you smack it, it takes you to another place. I don't know what there is about it. It seems to be not quite not quite the same as this place. But I've been able to meet other people there and, and there's shops being developed. I think that if I make a shop of my own, I can make a good amount of money. And actually, I've seen some people able to come here from that island. Oh, okay. It's all good. So that's kind of weird. So, I'm living the pirate's dream. Not much going on here right now. But I do think I need to get some proper, some proper home going up. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hmm. Let's see what I have. Got some wood. Got some more wood. Got some fish. Got some puffer fish. Not sure what they're used for. They, they don't look good to eat. But maybe if I make them into a drink. Hmm. Maybe. The clownfish definitely don't look good. They're too small. I don't know why I put this iron in here. That's not where that goes. Anyway, so I think this island's looking pretty nice. I have lots of harvesting to do. I need to stop talking to myself and get to work. Maybe later on I'll work on building a house. Work on putting this island together. Make some money. Find some room. That's what I'm going to do.